Hey there, what's up? SimWave helps detect some of the most challenging impairments that occur in live and file-based video workflows. Macro blocking, or otherwise known as bitstream corruption, easily makes the list. SimWave's technology can detect macro blocking and measure its impact on viewer experience. Please watch our other videos to see how SimWave's product can accurately assess challenging impairments such as banding and compression impairments in sources without the need of a reference. Macro blocking artifact manifests itself in the form of broken shapes and pixels. The impairment can occur due to bitstream corruption, decoding issues, and other reasons. You can see here that the frame here is heavily corrupted, especially at the bottom, due to macro blocking. Our technology detects macro blocking from source all the way to playback using just pixels without the need of any other information about a video bitstream. Therefore, providing the most foolproof way of detecting macro blocking. Our macro, blo macro blocking metric runs in real time with minimal compute resources. Detecting and fixing macro blocking means better viewer experience, improved video service, and happy subscribers. Let's dig deeper and watch a demo. The video here is available at different macro blocking levels that can be selected from the drop down menu. Let's play the video. You can see that the score accurately detects macro blocking when it is present in the content. And the score goes higher when it's not. Let's click at a high score level and see what video looks like. You can see there is no macro blocking in the video. Now let's click on a low score and you can see the macro blocking is heavily present. Let's find another spot. No macro blocking in the video. Severe macro blocking in the video. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Please reach out to us if you would like us to help detect macro blocking in live and file based video workflows. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.